The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. In case you missed it, yesterday NOAA came out with their hurricane forecast for the 2024 season, and it's uh, not good news. They are forecasting an 85% chance of an above average hurricane season. And there is a likelihood that we will actually get into the secondary list of names. You always come out with that initial list. If we get up to the amount of hurricanes that they are forecasting up to 25, then we will need to go into that secondary list. Total name storms. This is a forecast 17 to 25. 8 to 13 of which will become hurricanes, 4 to 7 of which will become major hurricanes or Category 3 or above. Now, they're forecasting this uh, heightened hurricane season due to the warmer water and due to La Nina, which allows for very little to no uh, wind shear in the Atlantic Basin. All right, friends, let's take a look at the regional view, and you'll notice that we do have certainly some thunder showers near Richmond, a couple more showers and thunderstorms near Wilmington and North Carolina, certainly more out to the west of us from Indiana over towards Missouri. We actually do have a uh, severe thunderstorm storm watch box for areas in and around St. Louis. But for us here locally, we've got a couple of little showers towards Bath County and a couple more little showers as you head into Charlotte and Halifax counties. But most of us are dry right now. Future tracker showing that we will have still the chance for a couple more showers as we head into this evening. Otherwise, it does look as though we could have a little bit of fog developing after midnight. Saturday actually starts out dry. This is a change in the forecast from uh, the uh, way things looked yesterday. I think Saturday morning is dry. It's Saturday afternoon, say from noon on where we will have a better chance for some hit or miss showers and thunderstorms. That activity will wane as we head into Saturday evening. Best chance for rain tomorrow noon to midnight. So we look at Sunday. Sunday also starts out dry. However, Sunday afternoon will have a chance for some isolated showers and thunderstorms developing. The best chance for rain on Sunday may actually come with this line of thunderstorms that will push in Sunday evening. So it does look as though afternoon and evening hours, both Saturday and Sunday, will be wetter than the morning hours. Now, as far as the severe thunderstorm outlook, nothing to worry about this evening. I think we may have a couple of storms uh, packing a little bit of a punch for us here Saturday, Sunday, and especially Monday, but nothing to worry about this evening, except for maybe a couple of showers, okay? Temperatures right now stand 72 in Withville, 78 in Blacksburg, 83 Roanoke, it's 80 out across Southside. For tonight, a few showers still possible. Even after the sun goes down, a few showers may linger towards midnight. Patchy fog then develops overnight lows about 56 to 64. Tomorrow, hit or miss thunder showers from about noon on. Highs in the higher terrain, upper 70s outside the higher terrain. You're well into the 80s. Extended forecast, warm and humid through Memorial Day. And then Tuesday looks like we'll start to cool down, down to 81. And then 70s, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Certainly looks like we're going to have the best chance for rain this holiday weekend on Memorial Day itself.